Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of the Wick Editor, and today I'll be teaching you how to use the keyboard to control characters in your Wick Editor 1.0 games. So on the screen here, I've got a little arrow that I'm going to be using as my character. You can use anything for your character, whether that's an image or a drawing you've made in Wick, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is we need to turn this into an interactive object. So after I select all of the items on the canvas that I want to make into a character, I go to the inspector and click Make Interactive. Now Make Interactive has two choices here. We can either create a clip or a button. If you're creating a button that'll move people through the scene, I suggest you use the, um, the button here, but we're gonna be creating a character and we might wanna animate it later. Um, so we're gonna turn our object into a clip. Now with our character selected, head over to the inspector and in the scripts window, you're going to hit add script. Now when the code editor pops up, we've got three choices for the types of scripts we're going to add. Today we're going to be looking at all of the scripts in the keyboard tab. Now we have three different events that we can choose from here. We can either do a key pressed, a key released, or a key down, and we'll go over what each of those does. So first, let's take a look at key pressed. Now key pressed is going to run once, the first time we press a key down. To demonstrate, I'm gonna take my character on screen and move it up whenever we press the up key. So the first thing we need to do is add in a conditional or an if statement. Um, if statements are only going to run if a condition we put inside them is true. And the condition we're going to test for here is key equals 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 up. Now, this order and the way I've written this matters. Okay, so the first word you're going to want to write is if, then some parentheses with our condition here. Key is a special variable that WIC gives us, which is going to be the last key that was pressed. This triple equal sign is JavaScript for does it actually equal the value that we've put here? And up is just the word up. Now, anything we put inside of this condition will run so long as that condition is true. And the thing we want to add here is this dot y minus equals some number and the number I'm going to choose, let's choose 10. Um, this number 10 here, this will be the speed of your character or the speed your object moves. It's the amount it will move every frame. Um, this dot y refers to where our character is up and down on our canvas. Um, so now if I X out of the code editor and I play our project, everything's normal. And then when I hit the up key, our character moves up. Now, if I hold down up here, the character just moves once. Remember, key pressed only runs once when we press it down. So how do we actually get this character to keep moving when I hold the up arrow? Let's select our character again, and let's edit our uh, key pressed function. Um, now, instead of using a key pressed, I'm actually going to get rid of this code. I'm gonna cut it. Um, and I'm going to add a new tab, and this tab is going to be key down. Now, key down is very similar to key pressed, except it's going to run once every tick of our project, which means it's going to continually run while a key is pressed down. I'm going to paste in the exact same code that we used before. If key equals up, this.y minus equals 10, but now it's in the key down tab. So, X out of our code editor and let's play. And now you'll notice that if I hold down my up arrow, our character moves up continuously. And lastly, let's check out key released. So um, key released works almost exactly the same as key pressed. Um, key released is going to run once, uh, but only when the key is released. So if we add the exact same code in here, we play our project, I press the button down, Nothing happens, but when I release the button, you can actually see the character move up. Now, when you're making a game or interactive project, it's important that you think about how each of these different tabs work and realize, should I be using a key down, a key released, 
or a key pressed for my project. So let's finish off this character and make it so that we can move it in any direction we'd like. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of my key pressed and key released scripts because I don't need them. The way I do that is over on the scripts tab, I'm going to delete key released and I'm going to delete key pressed. Now I'll open back up my key down tab. Um, I'm going to paste back in the code that I had here and I'm also going to just paste this a few more times and we're going to modify this exact same code to work in every direction. So the second if statement, we're going to make it work with down. Um, instead of subtracting 10 from y, we're going to add 10 to y. Next, let's do left. Instead of changing y, we're going to change x. x is the position of your character left to right. And then our last if statement, we're going to make it right. And we're going to change this to x. Um, but instead of subtracting, we're going to add the same way we did before. So with these four um, pieces of code, if we X out now, using the arrow keys, our character can move in any one of the four directions we've added. And if we hold two keys at the same time, we can actually move diagonally as well. Now movement is great. Um, we've got this character moving in the right directions, but you might want to do something else. Uh, when a character moves in a specific direction. You might want to play a different animation. Um, in the case of my character, I want to rotate my character to the right position um, depending on which way we're moving. So select your character, go on a key down, and now what you can do is inside these if statements, we can actually do anything else we'd like. So I can say something like, when the character is moving up, make the rotation equals zero. And I can take this exact same line and change it. So when the character is moving down, flip them 180 degrees. When the character is moving to the left, make them go negative 90 degrees. When the character is moving to the right, make them go 90 degrees. And um, with this, what will happen is it won't just move my character to the right, it'll also flip my character 90 degrees um, at the same time. And so if I play my project, if I move up, right, down, and left, my character will um, change to the position that I want it to. Um, and like I said, that can be anything you'd like. You can have um, different animations playing here. You can tell the timeline to stop. You can do whatever you'd like in this spot, um, so long as the code you add is inside these curly brackets. The syntax here, or the way we write this condition, is very important. So that is it for using key presses in the Wick editor. Let me know what you thought about this tutorial in the comments down below. Make sure you comment on our forum with tutorials you'd like to see next and have fun making your own games in the Wake Editor. We can't wait to see what you make.